guys welcome back to my channel one more time i am in a rush right now because i actually need to be at work soon so i have to go and get ready for that but i just wanted to say hi and i want to tell you guys that i made i did this makeup look for you guys and i hope you guys enjoy watching it and if you want to see how to get this makeup look or how i did this makeup look then definitely just keep watching okay guys so we're going to start off on our face and i'm just going to spritz a little bit of this mac prep and prime fix plus um but the reason why it looks this color is because I mix a little bit of this in. And this is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Makeup Setting Spray. Um, the reason why I put it in here is because this sprayer sucks on the on this bottle. Like, it sucks. But on this bottle, I love the way it sprays out. So, um, whenever I was about halfway with um, MAC Prep and Prime, I filled the rest of the bottle up with this. I do just kind of like to, like, massage it in. You don't have to. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Desert Beige and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 106 Sand or Sun Beige. My bad. So I'm just going to mix those two together. And I'll just be blending everything in with the Real Technique Beauty Sponge. glitter everywhere I have glitter everywhere I know you guys can't see it but I can see it it's really bugging me but I'm gonna add a concealer now and the concealer that I'm gonna be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the sand You know whenever you wake up too early and your eyes are like they hurt that's what i'm doing like my eyes hurt right now because i stayed up super late filming trying to film or at least i was i thought i was filming but I, in reality it wasn't um and now i'm up like at six in the morning to film this for you guys so i can be ready on time and go to work i'm just gonna set my under eye area with the airspun loose face powder in a naturally neutral and it's more of a yellow tone rather than peaky rather than pinky um, with the translucent one but I don't mind using the translucent one either it just it all depends on what I'm feeling that day gonna let that kind of sit bake do its job and i'm gonna move on to my face powder i'll be using the maybelline fit me powder loose powder in medium or light medium sorry light medium and what i'm gonna do with this powder is i'm just gonna grab like a powder puff is that what it's called and i'm just gonna put it in here shake it around in the powder and then kind of stamp my face I'm gonna bake my under eyes just a little bit more because we're gonna move on to the eye look and I don't know if there's gonna be fallout and I hope that there isn't but we're gonna prepare for the worst so I'm gonna add a little bit more powder underneath my eyes so for today's look we're gonna be using the wet n wild palette right here which is the rose 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 in the air I don't know rose in the air I don't know but I'm gonna try this palette out just because I want more of a neutral kind of glam day of course like a basic glam day so I'm gonna use this palette and I'm hoping to not reach in any other palette besides this one so let's see how that turns out for us first of all I'm not gonna take that one because I feel like that's too cool tone 
but I'm just gonna go in with this one which is more of a like orangey brown tan shade if that makes sense um a khaki shade and I'm gonna pack it on pretty much a lot I'm gonna pack it on because I do want this look to stand out today I don't want it to be like a uh, not noticeable glam day I want it to be definitely noticeable if that even makes sense but that's the way I explain things so I'm just gonna stick that in the crease Hey guys so now with a more precise brush i'm gonna go into this orange shade right here which is more of like a true um burnt orange i'm gonna go in with the sephora small shadow small shadow brush so i'm just gonna go right in here and just start to pack that color on to the crease but i'm gonna keep it really low into the crease i'm not gonna put it so up high and then I'm going to blend this out a little higher, but I'm just kind of placing it where I need it. Then just with that fluffy brush, I'm going to go in and kind of, in windshield wiper brushes, just go back and forth and start to blend that into the other shade. And I'm just going to go back and forth with this. And with that same brush, I am going to pick up um, this really bright, like berry shade, um, and I'm gonna dip into it. I wanna smoke this out. I'm gonna start from the outer part of my eye first and see how I like the look of it. Just there, but if I bring it, I might just bring it in a little bit, but I'll let you guys know if I do that or not. So I'm just like, I just place a little bit and now I'm gonna go in and blend it up. So I'm gonna put this more toward, more into the V, the outer V of my eye. Just because I'm gonna put a darker color there and I don't want just to, to put the dark, darker color there. And I'm going to start to just kind of go in that motion to the outer V. And I'm just going to bring this color in actually. Just a little bit, just like that. Now for the last color, I'm going to take the deep kind of rusty red right in the middle just to deepen everything up with the same brush again but I'm definitely going to keep this just in the outer V area of the eye so just like right there Now with just a clean brush, I'm just using this tiny little one by e.l.f. Uh, I'm going to spritz my brush. You know, wet it, like really wet it. And I'm going to go into this shade right there. Put that in the inner part of my eye where you guys see that I don't have any shadow. Put that there. And I'm going to drag it up because I like to go a little past my... Um, my crease and I just kind of flick my brush to have it kind of like blend in with everything else if that makes sense like that that looks so pretty oh my gosh the liner that i'll be using is by nyx and it's 
It's my NYX and it's the matte liquid liner. I love, I've been loving, loving this liner lately. And I'm gonna try to do just a simple wing because that's what I try to do all the time, but y'all know, the struggle is real. That's as good as it's gonna get. I don't think it's gonna get any better than that, so we're just gonna move on to the other eye. Yeah. They both look like double horns now, so but that's a good thing. I'm just gonna curl my lashes now. Sorry, I have to move fast because I have to be at work by 8. And it's 7.25, and I have to leave here by 7.30. Max, 7.35. I did put some mascara on if you guys are wondering what mascara I used the voluminous lash paradise uh, no. okay so for the bottom lash line I'm just gonna go in with the middle shade like the rusty red shade and I'm gonna blend that all over my bottom all lashes all lashes okay so I kind of just dipped into that berry shade but that was on accident Ooh, I like that. I'm just gonna carefully wipe away this powder because the mascara is still fresh under there. I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows with the NYX perf with the NYX eyebrow pencil that I've been loving. I'm gonna add a little bit of this um, shade and light bronzer right here in the middle. Sorry guys, now I have to start moving fast because it's already 7.30 and I'm starting to bring out. I'm gonna contour with that deeper shade in there. I'm using the Tarte blush in Magic. Add a little bit of highlight from the Carly Bible palette. One of the lighter shades right here. Add that to my nose. And keep it bow. And to my cheeks because I feel like I don't need any on my cheeks. And that's it for this look, guys. I'm so sorry I w I'm in a rush, but I really have to go now because I have to get to work. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.